Hello everyone, and welcome to Cyber King Productions. Today I'm reviewing History of the Daleks 15, Remembrance of the Daleks. It retails for $21.99 and is, as usual, exclusive to B&M. Starting off with the box, it continues the same box style as seen on the previous wave, except now in purple. Purple is going to be character's colour for the 7th Doctor, so expect to see purple on 7th Doctor sets going forward. A tiny change from the previous Dalek sets is the increased thickness of the box. It's a subtle change most people won't notice, but it's nice to see it addressed. The front of the box features the Doc 2 logo in the top left corner, and Remembrance of the Daleks 1988 text in the top right. Below this are a couple of info diamonds that state that you get the Supreme Dalek and a Grey Renegade Dalek, and that they're in the 5.5 inch scale. At the bottom is the 7th Doctor Identification Diamond, which is accompanied by the History of the Daleks 15 text, as well as the Gold Limited Edition sticker. The right side of the box doesn't feature any new information, but the left side has an added 7th Doctor text at the bottom. The back of the box has a write-up about the remembrance of the Dalek story, and some info about the Dalek props. The top features the horizontal version of the Doc 2 logo, while the bottom just has lots of legal gobbledygook. Opening up the box shows off the Vortex-inspired backdrop that is unfortunately destroyed when taking off the blister packaging. But that's enough about the box, let's take a look at the Daleks. So here are the Renegade Drone and Renegade Supreme. The Supreme looks brilliant, but the drone is just weird. Like most Dalek sets, these Daleks feature some new tooling, with that being the Ice Dog. Starting with the drone, it has a matte light grey and matte black colour scheme, for some reason. The drone's colour was considerably darker in the story, which the original versions of the figure almost captured perfectly. The matte grey dome features the same dome lights from the Necros Daleks, which still look great. They've been sculpted really well, with detail for the black base and various ridges on the transparent top. The matte black eye stock is the new bit of tooling for these Daleks. It features four silver spaced out eye rings, a large semi-round eyeball, and an indented silver iris and black pupil. Now, unfortunately, there are some small inaccuracies with the eye stalk. There's no black in between the eye rings, the eye rings are in the wrong layout, and there's multiple layers of indentation. The actual eye stalk only had one layer of indentation, which was the silver iris. Funny enough, in 2020, they released an Imperial Dalek that featured a new eye stalk that actually did those things correct. It had some of its own inaccuracies, but character had got it partially right before so why did they backtrack on it? Below the dome is the neck cage, which features nice sculpted detailing for the black mesh behind the matte grey neck rings. The matte grey shoulder section features the imperial style slats. Unfortunately, this is the closest thing character have to the renegade slats without making a new mould. The matte black slats are smooth, but feature nicely sculpted silver backing mesh. Below the slats is the matte black lower band. The shoulder section uses the new front section seen on the Necros Daleks. It features a thin oval and thick lower band. The matte black ball joints are connected to the Dalek's appendages, that being the manipulator arm and the exterminator. The manipulator arm, its plunger and the exterminator are all painted matte black. The gun stick features some sculpted detailing for the tip and rods. The matte grey skirt features matte black hemispheres, which sits on top of the matte black fender. The fender has a slightly recessed inner edge, while underneath has the standard three wheels and legal gobbledygook. Overall, I'm pretty disappointed. How did they screw up the most basic part of a Dalek, that being the colour? Although I appreciate the new eye stalk, I don't understand why it doesn't match the source material. Surely if you're going to spend the money on making it, you'd do it correctly. Now let's turn to the Supreme Dalek. There's no need to go into full detail, as the Dalek is pretty much the same, so I'm just going to talk about the differences. The Supreme sports a glossy black and silver colour scheme, which looks really great. The glossy black dome features the same dome lights, but in transparent orange. The eye stalk is also the same, but in glossy black, with the eye rings in white. Like the drone, it suffers the same inaccuracies, and plus one. It has no black in between the eye rings, the eye ring layout is wrong, the eye is the wrong shape, and the iris is too small. It's really weird that the eye stalk doesn't match either Dalek. Would it have been that difficult to just make it match at least one of them? The neck cage is the same, but with silver neck rings. The glossy black shoulder section has the newer style of slats seen on most B&M Daleks. The silver slats feature detailing for bolts and nicely sculpted silver backing mesh. Silver ball joints are connected to a silver manipulator arm and gun stick. And lastly, the skirt is glossy black with silver hemispheres. The Supreme is really great. It's just a shame about the eye stock because it was so close to being perfect. 
Turning to articulation, both Daleks have the standard articulation that is seen on Dalek figures. The head can turn 360 degrees, the eye stalk can pivot up to 90 degrees, the arm and gun are on ball joints, allowing them to be swivelled and rotated around, and lastly the Daleks are able to roll around due to the wheels underneath. When comparing the Renegade drone to its older counterparts, there's actually quite a few differences. It has a different colour scheme, different eye stalk, different dome lights, black slats, mesh detail, thinner oval, thicker lower band, matte black ball joints, matte black manipulator arm and plunger, different gun stick, and a different fender. When comparing the Renegade Supreme to its original counterpart, it too has many differences. It has a different eye stalk, different dome lights, thicker slats, thinner oval, thicker lower band, slightly different paint application behind the plunger, matte black plunger, different gun stick, and a different fender. When doing a size comparison, you can see the fit in really nice with other figures, and Daleks from the 5 inch range. So overall, what do I think about this set? It's not bad, but it's not great either. The Supreme is definitely the highlight of the set and is a vast improvement over the original, but the issue with the eye stalk just can't be overlooked. The fact that the eye stalk doesn't match either Dalek is really weird. It's like they opted to make both Daleks inaccurate, rather than at least making one eye stalk that accurately portrays one of them. It's so disappointing to see Remembrance, one of my favourite Dalek stories, get the short straw in the tooling department. The drone's colour is the other major issue I have. I really don't know why they thought that this was the correct colour. The colour is probably the most basic part of a Dalek, so to see it done wrong just confuses the hell out of me. For some reason character backtracked on almost everything they got right on the previous releases. It's like they weren't trying to be accurate. This set had the potential to be fantastic, but instead, it's just disappointing. Not bad, just disappointing. So that concludes this review. If you liked it, please leave a like and tell me what you think in the comments below. If you enjoy Dot2 content, then make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos, including games, reviews, and much more. Thank you all so much for watching, and until we meet again, goodbye.